Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel and I'm almost done with my NaNoWriMo novel reread. <laughs> Let me show you. Look at this. Chapter 27 and there are only 28 chapters. I am so close. <laughs> I am running out of space for my notes though on this page. So I'm hoping that I just won't have that many more to add. Fingers crossed. What I do think is funny is that in this last chapter, I never named the guy who ended up betraying Mardalona and was responsible for the kidnapping of Jenny and Augustine, but I have gotten into naming him the butthead. <laughs> you know, because that's appropriate. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm on the last chapter. I'm done. I think yesterday I ended up adding like 60 something words, but today when I went through, I ended up taking away 17 words in total. And I did manage to squeeze the last little bit on there. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just realized though, I have 63,910 words. I was very close to having a 64,000th word. And then I realized, look at this. I never even had a 63rd thousandth. So I get to go find that. To be honest, that feels a little bit anticlimactic, but that's okay. <laughs> So now that I've reread it all, two things are kind of glaringly obvious. I don't want to call them skipped scenes so much as like skipped plot lines or like I set it up to allow myself to include more. The question is just going to be pacing wise if that's necessary. But ultimately with a lot of stuff like this, I think it's better to let the novel rest before you try and introduce too many things because I'm just too in it. You know, I talked about that in a couple comments with people where I'm like too in the trenches to ultimately see everything that I need to see. So I'm going to wait. The two things I realized though were that one, I mentioned several times that Jenny has to go to physical therapy and I think I can actually set it up so that someone there leaks her text with Augustine because that is a scene that I already have but kind of is currently like a, she doesn't know how they get leaked but I think that would really add an element to the fame and add into the betrayal that she's feeling and all sorts of stuff like I think that could really be useful so at least I have a place there but I'd have to layer it in more and then I also realized that uh, Augustine's mom the Queen of Martellona is never mentioned. Like there's some stuff I could do. I just need to let it sit and then I'll ruminate a little bit more. But that perfectly leads me into what's happening next. But in order to fully explain what's next, I finally get to shut my projects down and bring out the planner. So first dip. <laughs> YouTube stuff NaNoWriMo. This is my current project, my NaNoWriMo project. Then I have Meridian Maps aka Project Blue. And look, my goals for December. Y'all know how I like rainbows. Complete first draft of NaNoWriMo novel. So with, you're not gonna be able to see that, with my red pen that matches my NaNoWriMo novel, all I have left to do is fill out this week and then I'm done. This is me trying to very cleverly hide some of the stuff I have. So today, is Wednesday, December 5th. <laughs> I feel like Inception when I do that. Which means that my plan for today for the NaNoWriMo novel is to fill in names because ultimately the timeline errors I do have are more like little phrases and not actually timeline errors. Thank goodness. I fixed all of that in this first draft that the problems I had in my zero draft. My goodness. <laughs> so I still need to fill in names. I finished my reread for the day and I'm one of those people who's just gonna put it on there so that I can cross it off. Ha ha ha. And that means that Thursday, guess what I'm doing tomorrow? Print out nano novel. Ah! I might actually put the order in tonight and then go pick it up tomorrow. I'm so excited. And I already have an idea for what I'm going to call it. Not like a real title, but like how I affectionately refer to Project Blue as Project Blue, even though it does have a title now, the Meridian Maps. I need to start using that more. This is my favorite plan I've ever seen. Print out nano novel. What sticker do I want to use for this? So after printing my nano novel, it is actually going to go right under where my camera is sitting now. It will be part of my printed out novel collections, the works in progress, and I will not be able to touch it until February 6th. <gasps> Two whole months. I don't even have this part filled in. December, this will be January. That means this will be February. And then the 6th is on a Wednesday to do. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Also, I didn't say this earlier during the reread, but I finished it and I loved it. I finished it and I loved it. I had so much fun, not only like writing this novel during this NaNoWriMo, but also rereading this novel. 
It's so fun. So now the only thing left to do in my planner is fill in more of my schedule for Project Blue, AKA the Meridian Maps. My little book baby. I will be talking about very soon. I'm gonna wait until another video to do that. But I guess that's the other thing I, <laughs> that's worth mentioning is the plans for this channel, I guess. It's really, I'm going back to what I was doing, which just means that I'll be back to posting about three times a week instead of every single day. But the range of topics are just things that you've already seen this NaNoWriMo, like writing discussions, talking talking about my own works in progress, talking about books that I like, talking about goals, talking about starting your own business, those kind of things. So you can expect that, just not every single day. <laughs> So if you're not already subscribed and you want to be notified of when I post those videos because I don't actually have a schedule right now, I'm attempting a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or Sunday schedule, but to be honest I end up doing three videos a week just kind of posting whatever I want. <laughs> it's going to be like a resolution of sorts to actually stick to a schedule, but ultimately I guess we're all gonna find out together if that works. <laughs> but feel free to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and you want me to be in your subscription feed. Otherwise you can just search my name and you'll be able to find what I'm up to. <laughs> also, someone requested that I do this because I didn't do it in my last video. I think I was worried that my video was going on for too long, which might not be even something that y'all like are concerned with, but I will do it again today. Let's see, who am I going to be chatting about and giving a shout out to? Raby shop. So I'm so sorry Ray, I accidentally spelled your name wrong and then I tried to fix it and my handwriting is so bad. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so Ray first started commenting on my videos. I think it was Camp NaNoWriMo in July and I was actually on my road trip during this time and I just missed her in Salt Lake City. <laughs> I feel like Ray and I are often so in sync. So like when I'm struggling with like the saggy middle part of not only like Camp NaNoWriMo or NaNoWriMo but also my story, she's there too and we're both like, oh my gosh. And we both enjoy nonfiction audiobooks more than we do fiction audiobooks. So I do remember she's one of the people that recommended me to read Brandon Sanderson's on audiobook. She said it was like amazing so I need to get back and actually do that. Maybe I'll look it up on that. Okay yeah. <laughs> and then recently I know we both felt like we were cheating in some way by typing the end at our NaNoWriMo novel. Although girl I just finished it and I don't feel like I'm cheating anymore. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you and I'm excited to hear an update. Ray also has her own channel and she posts weekly videos there. I know she made weekly vlogs this NaNoWriMo and she also attended a 24 hour our write-a-thon during NaNoWriMo. What I loved about this though was that she perfectly summed up my feelings when I attempted to do the 24-hour write-a-thon. I'm still gonna be up for the rest of the day writing more until midnight and right now that thought is so overwhelming. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do it. Maybe I should do just a 12 hour marathon. That seems way more reasonable. <sighs> but I said I would do a 24 hour ride a thon. I remember the last 12 hours of when I did that. <laughs> I was like, why did I think this was a good idea? <laughs> And my other favorite thing is that she refers to herself as a nerd. <laughs> There's several things where she just has really cool stuff. Like this hat is from like the 1920s. And I think this NaNoWriMo, she was also writing like a Western comedy or something like that. Like it's just so cool and unique. And yeah, so I will leave a link to her channel down below and up above. And please comment down below and let me know when you're looking forward to 2019, do you kind of segment out what stories you're gonna be working on when? I've talked before about how I kind of plan my writing year around the camps and around NaNoWriMo so that it basically, except for this past year, so that, oh, 2018 was a weird year for me, I guess. Usually I have a new draft every single April, July, and November. I didn't do that this time. But anyways, I think <laughs> I'm looking at my planner and I think that's something that I'm gonna look forward to doing again in 2019. So yeah, comment down below, let me know, or let me know if you already know what project you're gonna be working on for the camps, if you're going to be revising a project. I would love to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow with a new video and a new printed out novel. <laughs> Yay, bye. Also, this was almost latte art, almost. I'm getting so close. <laughs>